We're doing long distance fence alignment with the DGL 1010 GM in combination with the fence alignment kit or the FAK 1010. That allows us to do long distance fence alignment with this laser. You might have seen the video where we're showing you how we can do fence alignment up to 50 metres with this laser and then shoot that further 350 metres. With the fence alignment kit, we're able to focus off with the scope to a strainer in the distance that might be 500 metres or a kilometre away and work towards that with our laser level. Using the same principle, so what we're going to first do is calibrate our laser to our scope. And as we've got that auto tracking feature with the DGL 1010 GM, we can do that quite easily. So I've set up a post about 40 metres away or 30 metres away. I'm going to set our receiver. I've showed you on a previous video how to get the receiver mounted that way. Set our receiver on the post, turn on our laser and track to that laser beam. So the very first thing obviously I'm going to do is actually sight that post through my scope to make sure I'm aligning my scope with my laser. So if I sight that off, I've got the ability to pivot that scope up and down. I'm a bit challenged for height here. All right, so my scope's now aiming directly at my post. If I take my receiver down to the post, we'll turn on the laser. And of course the tracking's done through the receiver and we'll track that laser to this receiver. So that's going to align that receiver with the centre of that post. So this is only a temporary post. If we then hit our channel button. There we go, we've got the fast flash so we know it's talking to the laser. All right, so our light's turned green. It's showing one, two mil, it's fluctuating. So now our laser's locked on to centre of the post or two mil off that post. So we know we've now got our scope aligned with our vertical laser. So now we've got that laser beam in line or parallel in line with that scope. We can go around if we loosen off our, our grade die, or sorry, our um, rotation base. You'll notice we've got the plumb bob hanging from beneath the scope there and that's directly over our post. Part of the reason for that fence alignment kit is that we do have ability to move that laser and on this tripod, easily raise it up and down and twist it. So to get that plumb directly over the point. We've got a strainer post we're looking at 150 meters in the, in the distance. That's as far as I can get on our property here. We've got too many trees to get a longer run. So again, height challenged. I could see the post there roughly. I'm gonna lock that in and then rotating so I've aligned that to the left hand side or the front of that post which is where our fence line is going to be so that could be 500 meters away it could be up to a kilometer away but now I can go and work up to 350 meters and put my posts in now what you need to be wary of is if we're working on a rise as we put our posts in, if we work away from the laser, we are going to shadow the laser. So we'd want to work from afar and come to us. Otherwise, we can work from here, operating from here through, understanding that we're going to pick up high. Um, we can't pick up below our host post height. The other, the, uh, the other thing I will do is firstly is put that plumb bob aside. We'll notice at this point in time, I think the tilt's activated. I'm going to hit tilt and I'm going to operate the laser in VWS mode, which will desensitize the laser because it is going to get possibly a little bit of sway there. Won't mean much of a difference in, it, in our vertical alignment. So we can get to work and go and start getting our fencing underway and just keep fencing. Okay, so that's showing you how we can shoot that fence, get our fencing um, long distance. A few other features that we've got of that fence alignment kit Firstly, you'll notice we've got a, um, a stabiliser off the rear. Because we are hanging a lot of weight off the side of the tripod, we do want to stabilise that down to make sure that we're not going to drop our laser. It'd be an expensive error. 
we have the ability to shift our laser left and right for alignment and there are three positioning points under the pole there so we can extend that pole out a bit further or closer in depending on where we're wanting to set that laser up. The other feature that we've got there is now we can also take that scope off and run it at right angles. So if we're wanting to run a fence off at right angles to this fence we've just laid or a fence that we have, I can turn my scope 180 degrees knowing that we're calibrated to the right angle of that. Now bringing the plumb bob back into play. So now here's where this tripod comes into benefit. If I want to twist that, bring that laser around so that is over that point. Take it up a little, lock that off, bring my laser out. So I've got my plumb bob set up. I might want to retension over here. Again, roughly calibrate the line to my post, lock that off and just fine tune that in. Alrighty, once that with tilt's gone off because obviously uh, we've been playing with the laser, we'll hit vibration wing sensor. So the tilt's a bit of a security feature to make sure we don't knock the laser out of alignment. We'll let that laser um, start up again and then we can shoot a right angle straight off that fence line with that kit. Again operating 350 metres in either direction to pick up that receiver. If we want to go further, take our laser set up over our last post, either, either sight back to our existing fence or forward to a strainer and just keep working. So that's in a nutshell how to use that fence alignment kit with that DGL 1010 GM giving you full use of that laser as a fence alignment laser. And remember, you've still got all the features of that laser as a full dialer grade laser, up to 10% in the X and Y. So you can still go and do all your drains, culverts, leveling, whatever you're after, a real full functioning laser level for your situation.